Hello and welcome back to the Sam Beast YouTube channel. My name is David Foxon and before we start, please do not forget to like and subscribe. It is 2025 and here are my top five reasons as to why we need to stop calling it Ham and Sam and call it ITAM. Coming in with reason number one. Now, let's be honest here. I've been shouting about this for a long time. A lot of people have as well. But 2025 really needs to be the year that we stop siloing software asset management and hardware asset management as two different functions and look at it all as one IT asset management or ITAM function. My first reason for this is the obvious. You cannot in modern day IT, do one without the other. You cannot do software asset management without knowing about your hardware estate. And you cannot do hardware asset management without understanding your software estate. There are a number of reasons for this, but for example, when it becomes Sam and Ham, if you don't know where your software is installed, you don't know that you're reporting on all of the hardware, you may end up over buying licenses or worse, under buying licenses and actually being non-compliant with a particular licensing vendor. Flip that around, can't do what ham without Sam. Again, if you're doing hardware asset management and looking at hardware refreshes, a change in model, you're looking at your infrastructure hardware assets, you need to know what software is installed on there and whether there are any compatibility issues if you were to change or upgrade the physical hardware. It's obvious, right? You cannot do one without the other. That is the first and biggest reason as to why we need to stop calling it Ham and Sam. Reason number two is there are bigger requirements for cost savings. Now, this is due to the economic climate, the current way of the world. You know, it's not great out there for a lot of organizations, lots of layoffs, lots of budgets being cut, etc. If you focus on ITAM instead of just hardware asset management, instead of just software asset management, the savings will be greater. Not only from a CapEx perspective, so the assets that you're capitalizing, but also your OPEX, your subscriptions, your cloud services. If you're focusing on your software licenses, your SaaS agreements, your cloud instances, and your hardware, that's so many different avenues in which ITAM can save money. This then gives ITAM further elevation within the organization. It puts a seat at the table and shows just how beneficial and awesome IT asset management can be for your organization or any organization. If you just focus on software, you really are just kind of giving yourself a narrow window on the opportunities that you can do. Same with hardware, narrow window. And if you're not doing ITAM, the likelihood is you're not even thinking about things like FinOps and cloud instances. If you're just focusing on ham, you're definitely not. If you're thinking of Sam, you might be doing some SaaS stuff, a little bit of cloud stuff. But if you're looking at ITAM as a whole, you can also welcome in all of those cloud savings as well. And cloud savings hit the bottom line. It's an OPEX. You look like an absolute hero if you go out and manage to save lots of money there. The third reason is the expansion of the definition on what an IT asset actually is. Typically, IT assets back in the day used to be your desktops, your laptops, phones, tablets, monitors, etc. The definition of what encompasses an IT asset is expanding. It is evolving as new technology comes out and as ITAM shows its worth and its value within organizations. Suddenly, you're being asked to manage equipment that you would never have been dreamed of being asked to manage 10 years ago. The definition of that IT asset, then the scope is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And with that comes additional supports, warranties, models to learn, tech to learn, ways of inventorying in, ways of managing it, etc. There's so much more to learn when you start adding in some of this niche hardware models or IT assets that you're adding into your scope. If you call it IT asset management, you can help get involved. Again, this will open the door to new stakeholders, new opportunities and new ways in which ITAM can help manage assets that typically weren't within their scope. If you're just doing Ham and Sam, you might be a bit more closed off. You might not want to help. You might not want to embrace all of these new asset types. And you might see a focus on Sam or Ham just getting less and less as you're not evolving with your business and your organization. Reason number four is that FinOps partnership. FinOps has been huge the last few years. And there are a lot of synergies between ITAM and FinOps. 
FinOps likes to help reduce cost and reduce spend in the cloud environment. ITAM just likes to reduce cost and spend and save lots of money everywhere. So that collaboration with FinOps is really expanding out and becoming closer. There's a lot of things that we do in ITAM that can help FinOps. And there's a lot of FinOps data and terminologies and ways of working that can help ITAM. It's a great match, a match made in heaven, some might say. And with that expansion and that growing closeness in the relationship between ITAM and FinOps, you can only achieve that if you are looking at ITAM as a whole, the hardware, the software, the SaaS and the cloud, etc. If you're only focusing on SAM or HAM, it's not going to have as much benefit. You need to be looking at everything from a top level. Look at your whole kingdom from an ITAC perspective, whether that's software or hardware or cloud spend, etc. You, you need to be focusing on all of it. You can't just keep siloing. If you're only looking at SAM, you might only be looking at the software that's being used in the cloud instances. That element of FinOps, that relationship may only be focused on the software, the bring your own license. If you're looking at hardware, it may just be, OK, is that instance actually spec'd correctly? If it's not, what can we do to reduce it? Do you see what I'm getting at here? If Whereas if you're looking at both ITAM, which encompasses SAM and HAM, you're looking at both elements of it. You're getting the benefit, the full benefit of FinOps to save money, not only on the cloud environments and instances that you're spinning up to make sure that it's configured properly, to the software that's running in these cloud instances, to the usage of these cloud instances so that you can save money, maybe turning things off at night when they're not being used, maybe scaling down the spec of some of the cloud instances because they've been way over spec and you can save a lot of money. But you may not be looking for this if you're just focusing on hardware asset management or software asset management. Whereas if you're looking at ITAM, you're going to be focusing on the whole picture. And number five, mumbo number five, reason number five, is we are expanding that IT asset management mindset. We have to. We have to evolve as an industry. We cannot just be stuck in our ways, staying in our lanes, saying things like, no, this isn't part of my job. This isn't an ITAM role. This isn't a SAM role. This isn't a HAM role, etc." We need to be expanding out our minds as to how we can help organizations. Things like green IT, for example, looking at the configuration management database, the CMDB, looking at even other things about sustainability, you know, power watts and usage and stuff like that. In 2025, we're going to be doing a lot of videos on ITAM4. Now, what that basically means is ITAM4, what discipline? How can ITAM help these different areas? Because it's it's two ways, right? You've got how ITAM can help these areas, like ITAM for AI. What can ITAM do to support artificial intelligence? ITAM for InfoSec. What can ITAM do for information security? You see where I'm going with this. But like I said, it's a two-way streak. So then it's AI for ITAM. What can AI do for ITAM? Rather than what ITAM can do for AI, what can AI do for ITAM? What can InfoSec do for ITAM, etc.? Looking at the two ways in which the, the functions, the disciplines, the technologies, the tools, etc., can collaborate so that we understand how we can support that better and how that particular thing can help ITAM a lot better. So that ITAM mindset is really expanding and growing. The world is our oyster. Technology is moving at a rapid rate and we need to keep up. We need to look at these new technologies, these new industries that crop up and understand how ITAM can help this area and how this area can help ITAM. And with the greatest of respect, if you're just focusing on SAM, if you're just focusing on HAM, that is going to be so much harder and ineffective. And you may not even expand your horizons and your mindset because you're so focused on HAM or SAM. So it's going to be another big year for IT asset management, another challenging year for budgets, another challenging year with hardware refreshes, another challenging year with software audits and software vendors, you know, increasing their unit prices because you're decreasing your spend, etc. There's going to be a lot of challenges out there, but also an awful lot of opportunity. So please make this the year that if you're still talking about SAM, if you're still talking about HAM, that you talk about ITAM, IT asset management. Let's build out those relationships with people like FinOps, GreenOps, DevOps, Info, information security, HR, legal, finance, etc. And let's find out what ITAM can do for them and what they can do for ITAM. Not SAM, not HAM, ITAM.
If you want to stick with Sam and Ham, I'd love to know your reasons why, your justification for that. So as always, feel free to leave your comments in the comments box below or reach out to me on LinkedIn. All of my links are in the description. And yeah, welcome to 2025. I hope it's another successful, healthy and happy year for you. And please make sure you like and subscribe. We have got loads of videos in the pipeline for 2025 here on the Sam Beast YouTube channel. And until next week, happy eye tamming.